All right, uh, let's look at the forced damped motion, All right? So we put the uh, damper back in. So the equation is uh, mx double prime plus cx prime plus kx is equal to uh, f sub zero cosine of omega t, All right? So f sub zero cosine of omega t is basically the uh, uh, external force. All right. Then uh, there are a couple of solutions that uh, uh, we have. So this is a new um, terminology here, right? So something called transient solution, right? So transient solution is actually a complementary solution. So we're going to say uh, x of uh, tr of t is really the same solution as the uh, complementary solution of this differential equation. And uh, we notice that uh, since uh, there is a damping, so uh, complementary solution is the solution of the homogeneous equation, which means that the right hand side is zero. So there's no external force, right? So because of the damping, of course, the motion is going to eventually die down. So this solution, uh, transient solution, is actually is going to be zero as uh, time t goes to infinity. So eventually, a transient solution uh, will, will disappear, right? And the second kind of solution is um, a steady period, periodic solution, right? So this is, a, again, a, a fancy name for, uh, so I'm going to call it the x uh, sub sp, a steady periodic solution is the uh, particular solution x sub t, right? And by looking at the right-hand side, so it's going to be cosine, so it's going to be a combination of cosine and sine. So we know that uh, a steady periodic uh, solution is going to have a form of uh, some constant times cosine of uh, omega t plus uh, uh, b times sine of omega t, right? Then uh, we can plug this guy back into the differential equation. Uh, we can find the a and b, and uh, I cheat a little bit. Uh, so once you've done the uh, substitution and solve for a and b, you will get this uh, following expression, right? So A came out to be F sub 0 times quantity K minus M omega squared all over uh, quantity K minus M omega squared uh, quantity squared plus CW quantity squared. And B is the same denominator with the numerator C omega F0, right? So remember that uh, if you have a uh, you know, combination of cosine and sine curve, we can combine it and uh, look at it as a cosine curve, right? So let's do that. So this is going to be, right, um, steady periodic solution can be rewritten as uh, C times cosine of uh, omega t minus phase angle alpha, right? And we are actually interested in this C, so where? All right, C is going to be simply a square root of a squared plus b squared, right? So which is going to be a big square root all right, so we have to square everything. So I'm going to square the denominator first. So we have um, k minus m omega squared squared plus uh, c omega squared. Then that's summation squared, all right? Then uh, here we have to square the numerator of a. So you have uh, f0 squared. Actually, there's a F0 in B2, so I'm going to just combine that. Then what you get is going to be, uh, we have to square K minus M omega squared squared. And from B, you have to square C omega squared, right? 
and luckily you get exactly the same expression showing up here and we can just cancel one of them so you end up uh, getting uh, this expression all right so you have f0 square with the square root so you're going to get uh, simply f0 all right so the denominator is going to be you still have a square root all right so you're going to have uh, k minus m omega squared squared plus c omega quantity squared all right so we can think of this um, uh, c as a function of omega so i'm going to look at it as a function of omega all right so you can see the uh, amplitude of this uh, cosine curve uh, depends on this uh, c of w all right so what we want to do is uh, we want to maximize the c of w so we want to find out uh, what omega is going to make this uh, amplitude c of omega as uh, as large as possible right so such a w is called the um, um, practical uh, resonance frequency frequency right so the uh, omega uh, which is actually a circular frequency that maximized the C of omega uh, uh, is called the uh, practical resonance frequency because uh, with that W uh, with that omega the amplitude of a steady periodic solution is the largest all right uh, that's it I hope that uh, this was clear